I'm Troy Kirby with MLT News with a quick look at the 2021 Washington State Legislative Session. The House debated two bills concerning liquor licensing amid the COVID-19 pandemic's effect on restaurants, bars, and other hospitality establishments. Second substitute House Bill 1359 would temporarily relieve liquor license holders of fees. Also heard was engrossed second substitute House Bill 1480, which would extend curbside, takeout, and delivery of alcohol while creating an independent study of the impact of the new temporary privileges. Uh, as we all know, hospitality industries has been uh, decimated through this, and those that have survived are facing these substantial uh, 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 fees and license fees that, are, that come due every year, and it's a big part of their business. It's uh, when you don't have a lot coming in uh, and you're seeing a lot go out, that has, uh, that has uh, a heavy, uh, heavy weight on the, uh, the bottom line. I want to be really clear about what this bill does. This bill will allow to go beer, wine, and cocktails, uh, which have not been historically allowed or legal in Washington state. It will also allow beer, wine, and cocktails with hard alcohol for delivery. The intent of the bill as stated in the intent section is specific to supporting the hospitality industry during the pandemic. If we extend the alcohol expansion beyond the life of the pandemic, this bill becomes about something much more. It becomes about an attempt for the alcohol industry to use the tragedy of this pandemic as a wedge to permanently loosen liquor restrictions. The good gentleman from the 35th and I have had many discussions about how we might best support some of our businesses that have been really struggling, not only to consider whether or not they can keep their doors open during this pandemic, but whether or not they will even have an opportunity to open again, should they choose to uh, shutter, to try and keep maybe the, the, the business going uh, after the pandemic. And in some cases, at a very reduced um, capacity, some have been able to stay open. Now, last week, we passed a bill uh, that helped with the immediate response. This bill is intended to be a, t a recovery response, which reduces the license fees. We know these are incredibly expensive for some of our smaller businesses. Um, for that period of time where they are working to recover coming out of the pandemic. Every business got hit by this global pandemic, but small businesses and especially restaurants got hit the hardest. Our restaurant owners are families. They're losing money month after month. One of my local restaurant owners told me, we're doing everything we can, but this just isn't cutting it. As a lifelong social worker with children, I'm very concerned about youth access to alcohol, but that really isn't what this bill is about. We saw alcohol in grocery stores and serve it in restaurants every day. We have safeguards against sell selling it to children. This bill just simply allows somebody to enjoy a $10 margarita with their takeout Mexican food in a time that's really disconnected. Both bills passed the House. Moving on to the Senate for consideration. Thank you for watching the Daily Legislative Report by MLT News, covering the 2021 legislative session.